Hi guys, welcome to another one of Raven's Reviews. Today, as you can probably guess, I have bought the Tom Baker scarf. Um, I know I'm wearing a kind of odd t-shirt to be wearing a scarf with, but uh, seems I have uh, misplaced my fourth Doctor costume t-shirt, so that will do for now. Yeah, so I'm really happy. Um, I got this yesterday from Forbidden Planet, uh, my local Forbidden Planet, and it cost $49.99 quite expensive um, but as you can see I think in my opinion it is awesome if I just stand up and show you now I am quite a tall guy six foot two and you know that doesn't seem to you know make a difference ie the scarf is extremely long and I will show you it in more detail uh, later on because um, there's another thing I want to want to go through with you first and uh, well that will basically be me opening this this is the Daleks um, product enterprise roll o -matic set I do have two of these and I will be opening one of them so uh, let's crack on with that first okay so I've had a lot of uh, comments over the last couple of years about this particular set um, I did buy two of them um, at the time, as you can see, that's the other set, completely the same. From memory, there are about eight of these sets. I don't know if it shows you on the back or not, I can't remember. No, it doesn't. Um, but anyway, yes, there are eight sets, and I will be collecting them all. Um, but, as I say, for now, you know, I would like to hope I could get every set boxed and every set unboxed because that's what I do. So I finally decided to take the plunge and to open one of the sets to kind of start me off. Now, I've opened these Daleks before when I was a lot younger. Uh, not these sets, obviously. Um, I had the whole set and I sold them about five years ago. And from what I remember, the Daleks were really, really well, highly detailed and really good. So anyway, let's crack on with opening the roll o -matic. I think this is probably the first time on YouTube anyone's seen this, I hope, if it isn't. Then it's the second time, or even the third time, I don't know. Anyway. What I'm going to do is just use a pen knife and slip down the side. The, the sides and the top, I would imagine. And hopefully I'll be able to get in. So here we go, wish me luck. There's no turning back now. Very hard plastic to open this stuff. This is the olden days when the world didn't care so much about making everything so green. You really have to penetrate the plastic with the knife. Ah, okay, here we go. So, as you can see, I've taken them out of the bubble quite nicely. Um, if you do it carefully enough, you can uh, still display them, I expect, um, in their box. Now this is what they come out, will come in. Shame it's a little bit bent there, I should probably get something to, to stand them up so they, you know, but they probably look a little bit silly. Anyway, so, notice already there are no tyres on these little Daleks. These were made by Product Enterprise and they didn't believe in making tyres. All you do is push the Dalek out. Now I quite like this Dalek's uh, logo um, which I do believe is stuck with sticky tape so I shall be removing that at some point but let's get these bad boys out first Is that going to stand up? No, it's not. Let's put it back in the box. As you can see, it goes in there quite, quite easily. Right, I shall now just quickly go and get some Corgi Daleks to compare. I know I'm reviewing, obviously, these Daleks here, but 
as I said, I'm going to be comparing them. Um, let me just straighten these bad boys out. Now, the first thing to notice about the Dalek Rollomatics is they do have very, very good articulation. I.e., the head, well, doesn't quite do a 360, do beg your pardon, it does stick there, but that's far enough. I stalk does go up and down, and the plunger, and the exterminator, they all rotate very nicely. And there are wheels on the back, which is actually a push and go motion, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, as you can see, the detailing of the Daleks is, well, for, you know, considering how small they are, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, if I compare with the Dalek from the Corgi Dalek, um, in my opinion, these Daleks are far superior. The Corgi Daleks are heavy. Um, I know they're a different colour scheme. Um, I actually think that the colours on this Dalek here are wrong because they're the kind of chase colour Daleks where they're supposed to be from the evil of the Daleks which is supposed to be this colour. But uh, we'll let that slide. Um, but these Daleks don't have any, or they do have articulation in the head but no articulation here really. Um, the eye does move but I just I'm quite surprised actually because I was quite happy with my Corgi Daleks but uh, I do I think these Daleks are a lot lot better um, and again here's the comparison um, of a Dalek Emperor Guard with a wobbly fucking eye and uh, the detailing of the Emperor Guard is again brilliant it's exactly the same really as the normal standard drone Dalek apart from the fact it has a black dome um, which is rather nice uh, this set would have been quite good for army building because you receive two of these little Daleks and one of these um, these sets used to retail at around about 15 quid if I remember rightly which is a bargain price as five pound a Dalek but now they're going for about 40 quid on eBay so a little bit more expensive they've more than doubled in price um, more full uh, more for me for selling them really well I did but never mind um, so yeah overall I would give the Dalek roll a 8 out of 10 um, they are really really nice um, and I will now show you the pullback feature um, much the same as the Depole Daleks um, you get your Dalek, you run it back like that, and then off he goes. Um, and he carries on <laughs> wheeling around. So they're quite good fun. Um, we get him to stop. There we go. Now, what I'll do, obviously, these don't have motorized action, these Corgi Daleks. I'm going to try and get all three of them to come chasing at the camera into focus. So, bear with me, I'll let them all go and see where they end up, 3, 2, 1, fail, <laughs> alright, take 2, I think that might be better, here we go, 3, 2, 1, action. Exterminate! 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 Okay, you get the idea. Ah! Ah! Alright, lads. Alright, so there we go. Hours of fun, and the fun doesn't stop. <laughs> These Daleks are supreme! Now then. More importantly, let's crack on with the scarf review. So as you can see, I went to Forbidden Planet. And this is the case the, the uh, scarf comes in. It's a clear plastic box. 49 99 um, There's a zip as well, which is quite nice. Keep the scarf safe. Uh, if we just take a by bringing the camera down here so the little label on the scarf says uh, can't read it Doctor Who, the fourth Doctor scarf 
1974-1981. And on the back, Lavrazi.co.uk um, is a licensed um, product produced by this company. Blah blah blah. Um, so I'm guessing if you go on that website, you better buy this scarf as well. Um, there is a little, um, what you call it, uh, label in the scarf. Doesn't say anything about washing, so I wouldn't recommend washing this scarf. Um, okay, so the tassels on the end of the scarf are probably the only bit that I think are perhaps a little bit uh, not screen accurate because they kind of look like a colourful mop um, but we can deal with that so to give you some idea of how long this scarf is I am gonna run it across the table uh, let's go uh, we're not even halfway yet I can imagine we're almost halfway now You can see this isn't camera trickery. It's a damn long scarf. And there's the end. Impressed? Okay, so I'm not like a hundred percent sure if this is actually, you know, screen accurate or whatever. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, this scarf is perfect because it's the kind of thing I want to use to at the Doctor Who conventions, um, I want to wear it with pride, um, it was a shame I hadn't had it already because when I met Tom Baker I could have uh, I could have had it, but you, there you can see the, the sheer scale of this long scarf, it is absolutely brilliant, I know there are probably better ones out there for more money, but for 50 quid, which is quite a lot of money, I think this is quite damn good, I'm really happy, I've always wanted a Tom Baker scarf, and uh, now I've got one. Um, so yeah, I'm really quite glad I've got it. Um, displaying this scarf could be difficult, but I'll either have it hanging over my mirror, or um, I am actually hoping to get the Fourth Doctor life-size cutout, um, and then have this scarf wrapped around his neck, um, which I think will look quite nice in my room, if it fits. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my review, guys. It's been scarfs and Daleks, but, um, you know, it's all been good fun. Merry Christmas to you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.